Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Fears to Fathom, Episode 5, Woodbury Getaway. Sydney Harper, a 23-year-old working at a consulting firm, plans a weekend getaway to a Woodbury rental with her college friends. Little did she know what was going to unfold during their stay. Um, if you've watched the channel, um, apart from Home Alone, I think we've pretty much played all the other Fears to Fathom games. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Many indie horror games have tried to emulate the aesthetic of Fears to Fathom, but this is the uh, the goat, right? This is the 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 OG. So let's get going. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's see how we fare in our Woodbury getaway. December 8th. Just around the corner, people. Just around the corner. Need a coffee to get done with the day. Now we're going to look at... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not Excel sheets, is it? Oh, dear. Oh. We've already got a game within a game. What the hell? Oh, I've got to type it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, got there in the end. Smell there. Mark. E. Alright. It's hard to look at six. Hard to look at the screen and see what you're typing at the same time, you know? Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah, young... Father Speed written has. Hey, hey, we're killing these aliens. We're sending them back home. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of Type Invader. Uh, we've got the browser here. Gonna search. We needed to get some coffee, so um, let's just back out of here for a second. Like I said, I really needed a cup of coffee. All right, all right. I just had to play around with things. You got to play around with things. Ah, uh, the old workplace. Why am I working? What seems to be in the dead of night? Well, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that the coffee machine is going to be over this way. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, work life. Working. Do I have to? Yep. Oh, put an espresso machine in. It needed water. Did it? I don't drink coffee myself, so I don't really know how these things work. But I got there. Ah, pizza's already in the microwave. I like that. I don't have to go to the fridge. I don't have to put any of the pizzas in. Yeah, what I especially like about the Fist of Fathom games is that every episode just... Where's the lids? There you go. Am I good now? Can I have my coffee? There we go. Is that every episode just brings something new? Needed... Ah, it's too much coffee, my friend. Too much coffee. That's the supply room. The restrooms are this way. If I needed the toilet so badly, I don't think I'd still be sipping on my coffee. But, okay. Everything here is looking a little bit turgid. Um, it's a horror game, uh, so we do have to investigate the toilets. My hands will fall. Uh, yeah! Am I going to drink the coffee now? Oh, I think she's... Um, Very true. You wouldn't want to take a piss without the door being wide open. Ah, oh, relieving the bladder. There's a very therapeutic sense to just going to the toilet. Someone in here? Someone in here? I'm actually working alone. I heard footsteps. Let's put a toilet seat down. Let's flush. Because we are a respectable kind of person. 
Now, I'm going to open this door and someone's going to be right there, aren't they? hi -ya! <gasps> Knew it. You're not getting me that quick, janitor man. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. Yeah, you did. You did. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone here this late. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Yes, you should have knocked. Yeah, we're going to... Um... Do you know what, though? To be honest, I work in an office like this, and when the people are changing the toilet rolls and when they... They don't bother to knock. So, you know what? It's fine. You're doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Why are we getting this guy's life story? Do we need to know his life story? What's... What, why, what, yeah, what's frustrating you? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. Now, technically, I didn't throw the coffee cup in the office. I threw it down in the toilet cubicle. So, um... Yeah, that's really rude. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. He knows it's me, doesn't he? He knows it's me. Have a good night. I can't fault he's doing his job. You know, I'm the one working late. I'm the one that doesn't have the correct work and life balance going on, it seems. He's still humming. He's still humming. You, you stay away. Back to the grind, I guess. We're filling those Excel sheets. They're not going to do them by themselves. Someone's on the phone. Now, usually when you pick up the phone, someone answers first. They say, hello, my name is this, da 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 Go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, I'm going to go with my battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Who are you, Mike? Are we meant to be people that are going out? No, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, you're not, Mike. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Work has been overwhelming Damn, lately. Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate Mike already. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Mike's got the thirst, Sydney, hasn't he? No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Hey. We might have to reschedule our trip. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. God damn it, Mike. Can't you take the hint? I friend-zoned you for a reason, Mike. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Uh, I don't really have an option to say no, so... Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Yeah, you do that, Mike. Oh, uh, wait, one oh, more thing. fuck's sake, Mike. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Well, how long are we staying there for? Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. That's a Nora problem. That's not a Sydney problem. Sure, I'll It'll find something. just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. It's always on me, is it? If you're phoning me up, you've got time to do this, Mike. I'm at work. I'm a hard-working girl. I'm a hard-working girl, Mike. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. You're like a little puppy. Am I going to have to get the rolled-up newspaper and spunk you on the nose? Is that what's going to happen? All right. Talk to you later, Harp. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, Mike. Right. Guess I better book that rent a cabin, huh? Um, right. Um, cabin. Oh, that's interesting. So anything I put in that I'm typing, interesting. It just comes up rent a cabin anyway. I like that. I like that. Rent a cabin. Find your place to stay. Rent any cabin from hosts around the world. Where are you going? I don't know. Where are we going? But I'm sure when I start typing, Woodbury. I mean, that's what the title of the game is called, so I should have known that already. 
Um, let's have a look here. I'm guessing by the OS that we're in the kind of maybe late, early 2000s. Rent a cabin. Peaceful cabin area. 350. Well, that's not in our budget. Private room. No, 199. They're just going to get crappier and crappier, aren't they? We do have a few options. No, we only have one option. The private cabin. Uh, can't can't look at the pictures. I mean, it looks decent enough. Private cabin, three guests, two bedroom, two beds. What does it mean by one and a half shared? Does that mean that there's half a toilet in one of the bedrooms? Let's book it. It's been confirmed. Print that out. Show it to Mike. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. Hmm. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much time for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental pace. Peace. I'm Sidney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Is that Mike? Oh, look at that shit cheese bearing grin there. Oh. How do I answer it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh no! Does that work? Pulling into the parking garage now. You down? So who... Who was that then? That was just some random guy. Oh, we didn't... Hang on. God damn it. I need to get after him before he drives off. I feel like he might have had some information for me. No, he's going. He's going. Hello? Hello? Don't... Don't go over my bag. Don't run over my bag. Why is your car filled with what seems like water? Come back here. No, okay. All right, Mike, that wasn't... I thought you were Mike, all right? I thought Mike was in the lift, and then I thought I had to answer the phone. I was just overwhelmed with a bunch of stuff. God damn it, Mike. You smell like cigarettes and cheap hookers. That's still how you hug people. Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Mike? Yeah, just a test to hugs. Yeah. And you smell like cheap cigarettes and hookers. Fair enough. But for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sidney Harper. Oh, God, this guy. Listen, if this comes anywhere up in the game where I'm using you as a human shield, it's going to happen. You look good. <sighs> no, we're not going to compliment him. We're just going to go, thanks for picking him up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'd be nice to be have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories, right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Alright. That's what I was trying to do, and then you just bear hugged me. Whee! There we go, and got look. Alright, Mike. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Um. We have, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. Weren't we meant to pick her up as well? Mike? Weren't we meant to do that? The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. Let me just let me just check there's not a human head in here or something. Okay. I do want to explore the area a little bit though, but alright. Let's just check this door. If I'm not one for alright then. We'll go. We'll go. I want who was that guy? He was smiling. That's why I thought it was you. Alright then, Mike. We're on our way. To Vermont. To Woodbury. 426 PM.
That's pretty cool, your little cowboy figure in there, little bobblehead. It was starting to snow. Eyes on the road, Mike. Eyes on the road, Mike! Up, oh, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college, and now here we are, trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out of the real world. Funny how that, yeah, it's funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust a new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? What are you doing, Mike? Let's find out a little bit about you. We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. <laughs> okay, sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? We consult, Mike. You got a problem, you bring us in. We sort your shit out. That's what we do. That sounds like... What does it sound like, Mike? Important work. I don't think he likes the line of work we're in. So I'm assuming the guy that tried to call us Rick Wilson, yeah. How, do you ever miss college? Can I bring my phone? Not really. Right. I guess the only good thing that came out of the college... Ah, oh, jeez. Us? I, um, you know, I mean, you, me, and Nora. Yeah. School bus? Why did... Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? A school bus was back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Yeah... Oh. Alright, we can't talk. Do I can I access my phone? Right, here we go. Rent a cabin. Hey, let me just see. Sydney, thanks for booking. Blah 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 blah. I can't eat I'm not the one driving. I can read my God damn it, Mike. Oh snap. Came out of nowhere. You know. What do we know, Mike? I read on the internet that in Native American law. Seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Yep. Okay, Mike, let me read these messages. Um, right. We're looking forward to checking 3 p.m. This looks a little bit later than 3 p.m. That's correct. The key will be in a lockbox, right? The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble. Have a safe trip. Great, thank you. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text for you. Just want to check, right? We're on our way. Should be around at 6. Yep. Oh, God damn it, Mike. How far away is it? Should be about an hour and a half from here. Ooh. Oh dear. We're late already. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Fuck me, Mike. Alright, come on. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. Is this is this is this your is this your riz, Mike? Is this what you're trying to riz me with? It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. No, it's not, Mike. It's fucking snow. Keep your eyes on the road. Makes it more dangerous. It's kind of beautiful. Right, let's just see what else. Please confirm when you check in and travel safe. Okay, all right. By 14 p.m. So we're turning up there. A bit earlier than we anticipated. Oh, I can't click on the cowboy man anymore. Yo, Harp, check that out. What are we checking out? What, taxi? No, it's, um... Moe's Pizza. I take it we're going to get some pizza. I didn't even have time to check the glove box or anything. You're just talking to me about your intergalactic fucking snow mic. You know, Harp, i got to tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like we're living in the future, wow! I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Yeah, me too. We're hogs. Alright then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. I hate you, Mike, and if there's a chance that you may die, I will not be saddened by it. You can't play a Fierce the Fathom game without eating some kind of stopping off at some restaurant or anything. Moe's special is still on. Thanks, Mike. You're a gentleman. Come in, Harp. Thank you. Right. Oh, Larry's audio insurance. 
and then buy a car for that dog, along with a purchase of some high-end insurance for the car that you bought for that same dog. That's good selling. Warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only $299.99 a year. We offer dirt cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor, Dave's dealership, because we're the best. Dogs purchased from our Why would you even put your competitor in your advert? This just in. Reports oh. of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Let's check in with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. A bit. Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying Ooh. that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry. You cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. You little hey. shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I All never right. get to report somewhere nice. Uh, who are you, my friend? Just... I'm just clearly the better looking. You can worry about where you'll right. report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. Do you have any recommendations? Get the cheese. Just the cheese. Okay. We're just gonna... None of them are gonna... I mean, you wouldn't just walk into a restaurant and start talking to people. But, you know, how's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? Uh, I'm not going to tell him where we're going. We're just uh, just on a road trip with my friend. You made a good choice stopping here. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear. I've been coming to Moe's since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Though, my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for a man my age, she says. He worries too much. Only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a month now. Well, it was nice chatting with you. Stay tra safe travels to you and your friend. Thank you. It was nice talking to you. He was nice. I gotta check out this guy here who's like backpacking. How you doing, my friend? Not bad, you? I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Are you here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. Would you go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. Alright. Interesting. Is that going to be like he's looking for a place to stay? Don't know. Right. What are we thinking about? I know this isn't my radio, but... What's your deal, man? You're huffing and puffing next to me. I'm not saying anything yet. Alright. Alright, Mo. Do I have to stand here? Right. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, let's say the cheese was good. Pepperoni. Oh, cheese. All right, what's your second slice? I'll try um, pepperoni. And the third, most special. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just the pizza today, thanks. Alright then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. I'm pain on my mic. Is that what's happening here? Because I'm a consultant. I earn the most. Is that what's happening? You decided to come in here and you're not even paying for me? God damn it, Mike. I hate your guts. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. Alright, thanks, Mo. Where we're sitting, Mike? Are you telling us you're dictating where we're sitting? Is that what you're doing? Misogynist bastard. Oh god, do I have to talk to you again? No one else around there. <laughs> smells, smells so good in here. Mmm, <sighs> getting that pizza goodness. Alright, we've got some messages from Nora. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nor- Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's too many messages coming through. Too many messages coming through. 
I'm just gonna quickly glean through this. Baxter got her pregnant, so this is all like, did they take that? This is so cute. Taylor Thompson was Baxter, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again, right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. Too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company I don't even care about. Blah. Seriously, I feel you, girl. May as well put a bed in an office. Right, so... Some old acquaintances from college are getting tied in a knot. And I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Nora sounds like a right blast. I'm going to just tell you that right now. Ladies, I have a proposal. That's Mike. Right. I'm going to propose. How about we find a rental home? This is when it starts. Okay, get away. Sounds like a lot of work. Think about it. Harpy a weekend away. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit harpy. Let's make it happen. I'm right in, but we're right. Okay. Uh, I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind of wake and bake. Mikey is go. Right. Would you mind taking the lead on booking a house? Right, that was me. I'm excited. What's this? Here's the thing, guys. I'm on a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. Kind of tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I I don't know. Guys, Let me know if that's okay. Hate me. I hope I get I to see you guys I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. I hate Nora. Um, right, so she's gonna be late. Is that what we're saying? Hmm. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. I'm not liking where this is going. I'm not liking where this is heading already. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Mikey, Mikey boy. Order number 27. Your folks are right here. I know you're not talking about what I think you're talking about. Why did I get up, Mike? If you were getting it. Huh? God damn it, Mike. Where's my pizza? Oh, my pizza's here. Sorry. You didn't even bring my pizza over. Alright, you folks are all set. Thank you. If you want to bang me, Mike, you bring me my goddamn pizza, okay? That's the pepperoni. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bum-ass pizza. I know, right? Go for another pepperoni slice. Mm, nom, nom, nom. We'll eat the crust. We'll eat the crust. Go on to the margarita. Try some of the special. Some of Mo's special. Might give me the fritters. But who knows? Who knows? Do I have to eat the crust? Ah, uh, hey there. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw you all pulling and driving at that nice old truck. Yeah. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might be going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me and I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do you all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Yeah, because I don't want to be stuck in a car with Mike. Yeah. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure. Feel free to jump in, Mike. I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. Oh, that's true. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I ride in the bed. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? Sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, no, no! 
You got me wrong. Sorry. I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. I mean, in, in my defense, I... I will let him go. Are you serious? How are you going to let a stranger ride over us in the middle of nowhere? Because you're a tool, Mike. You're a goddamn tool. I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. Alright, Dad. Yeah. Shut up. Eat your pizza. I wouldn't have had any problem with him um, sitting in the back, you know. Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? <laughs> I'd eat of a tire if I was hungry enough. Fair enough. But eat something else's tires before we still got a lot of driving to do. Alright. Jesus, Mike. It might be stuffed crust. Did stuffed crust... Was stuffed crust invented in the early 2000s? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and make him uh, be as... Alright, I'm done, Mike. Time to go. Ah, oh, god damn, Nora. Holy, that was good. Alright then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Are we close? Um, let's ask if we're close. Let's see. If my GPS is right, it should be about another hour. Give me the keys. Oh, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Hmm. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'd be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. Fine, but there's one condition. Oh, God damn. I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Fair enough. I don't see why I'm so adamant to drive. But we got the truck keys. What's your deal, man? Why are you just... I'm going to check the restroom. No, can't check the restroom. All right. Hmm. Okay. So we had a random guy who was just hitchhiking around, wanted to just be an adventurer, just travel, and uh, we didn't let him in our car. Will that come and bite us in the ass later? Who knows? Possibly. 5.49 p.m. Oh, we're driving now. We're going to concentrate on the road. I was giving you shit earlier on. You think we're almost there? Do you remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbreed Boulevard. I suppose we better turn it on just in case there's any, uh, any radio reports or anything. Yeah, we don't we don't follow the rules. Slow. Okay, maybe we should. Hey, hey. That was close. He was close to me there. All right, what we got here? Woodbury to the right, three miles. I'm liking the driving mechanics. The revving does make me feel like I'm driving too fast, but... We stay in the middle of the road. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can get out wherever we want. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. It was a very cold night. Oh, so I wonder if um, we'll be able to explore the town of Woodbury a little bit more. I don't know, I just saw this light. Ah, oh, really? Invisible wall? Ah, oh, you tease me, game. You tease me. Alright then, Mike. Yeah, the, the... I think... 
I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. Okay, yeah, we know that. I think this is us up here, but... Is that Woodbury? No. Hey. I should have just let Mike drive. Yeah, I don't understand why I was put in control, but it does, uh... does open the uh, map for us a little bit. There's got to be one of these cabins, right? I'm assuming it's one of these... I told you driving in the snow is that... What did I bump into? I was out of practice with driving. It's... I'm... So I'm bumping into an invisible wall. Alright, okay. I'll do a three-point turn. Stay with me, Mike. Stay with me. I didn't... I thought that was the road down to the place. Don't judge me. Okay. This must be the town of Woodbury, right? That's what I'm thinking. I guess we just follow the path until we come to the cabin. But I just... it just... Uh, makes me want to explore. Damn it, I want to explore. Why won't you let me explore, game? Oh no. Jesus sets free. Shackled by lust? Um, I don't think this is the way. Don't think that's the way. Any advice, Mike? We should be getting pretty close. Hmm. I think we're in a very Christian town. Ah, now we're entering Woodbury. That was just the peripheral. That was just the kind of, just the outside part. What, do we have to look for the house numbers and stuff? Oh, I drove past our cabin at first. Let's just see. Let's just see. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This could be it here on the right. Ah. You could have said something, Mike. You pain in the ass. I thought you were just going to keep driving there. I did, technically. Get in my bag. It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. We're going to put that back up. There we go. And we know the code. It was 517 something. 不过，我们不能放弃，我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得走。我们必须得
I didn't want to take the milk back out. Whew, sorry about that, Harp. You okay? Long drive and all that. Pizza really did a number on me. Well, the groceries are put away and I took some of the milk for my troubles. Thanks for having me that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's just got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. But sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Our bags? You don't unpack my bag, Mike. You pack your own bag. You unpack your own bag. You don't unpack mine. The smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Oh. Oh no. I don't want to open this. Ugh. I was expecting to see something um, quite bad in there. Let's text Rick. Hi, we've checked in. Well, we've, we've let him know that we've checked in. Washing our hands. What you do after having a pee? You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So, ready to check out the place? Yeah, sounds good. After you. Well, what do we have here? Well, let's check upstairs first. That must be Rick. The music is a little unsettling. I don't know why you'd have um, sort of tension music so far. Ah, we do have a flashlight. I think we'll be needing that. Let's take that. No. Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no, no. We're not a couple. <laughs> you didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering the question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you... Never mind. Clear boundaries, Mike. We need clear boundaries. Oopsie daisy. Silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um... I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. I'm not going to chime in here, Mike. I'm not going to say anything. Speaking of the creepy Airbnb house guest. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Alright. I'm going to put the uh, host was a movie made with nervous energy. That's the worst kind of energy. The nervous energy. Well, that's another toilet there. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Hmm. Look, Hop, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Uh, I don't like this guy. Can we read the, um,. Are you coming, miss? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, what was that? Ah. Something with the blinds. Okay, we'll come back to that, maybe. Alright, then. The laundry room? No, oh, we're just going out through the back. Okay. Alright. Very nice garden you have here. Holy smokes, this is incredible. 
incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold out here. Jesus Mike, you just wanna, wanna back off just a little bit? Personal space and all that, you know? Can we lock the doors? That would be appreciated. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs now. Well, I did take the... maybe I should put it back. Yeah, let's um... let's put the flashlight back in. Are you coming? Yeah, Jesus! You know, we have paid a hundred dollars, which isn't much, but, um... We're gonna fix the TV? The TV that's in the fritz? No? No? Okay. I'm just following you. Alright. Alrighty, folks. I see you're already stucked up on the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Yeah, that'll be nice. I mean, in all honesty, we did say we'd be there for like, what, three o'clock? And we're like three hours late or something, so. Oh. Oh, going down in the basement, huh? All right. Turn on the light there, Rick. Yeah, thanks. It's quite a big cabin. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. Pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. What, this one? This... Jesus. I hate the fact that you can't... Maybe we'll read this stuff later. I want you to get out... Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage renters. Don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Or I could try the door. I couldn't open the door. Not yet. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, he told me his mother died down here. Some guests have been reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were you, one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Jesus, Mike. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. Good joke, bro. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 to 10. Yeah. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Well, thanks for showing us round. Much appreciated. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. Oh no, he's not the owner of the house at all, is he? Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Don't get any ideas, Mike. Alright. Is it just me, or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on the TV. Actually, I'm going to go take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Haha, <laughs> let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Let's just, uh... He's just walking off. Oh, hang on. Is he walking off? Why is he walking into the... Hang on. I kind of want to follow him. I mean, he could be walking to the back of the, the house. 
I'm getting the distinct impression this is not his house. If he was asking for my name. That could just be a red herring, though. Right, can we explore a little bit now? Can we, um... Just making sure all the doors are closed. What was in here? Did we check? Oh, that was the basement. Alright. I'm gonna have a shower, then. Or... What's this here? Oh. What are you... Uh, what are you watching there, Mike? Yeah, let's turn that off. But he was just in here, huh? Just, um... Having a good old time by himself. Are we gonna take our clothes off, or...? Oh, of course. There we go. Mike, you creep, you better not come in here. I'm just telling you now. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub me off. Can I take the slippers? So, it did say there were three bedrooms, right? I'm only counting two at the moment. I could be wrong. That's one there. That's the out... No, that's the... Yeah. Huh. Where's Nora going to be sleeping? Or is there a downstairs bedroom that I just completely missed? Hey, Harp. Check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Yeah. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another road in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. Alright. Is Nora ever going to turn up? Mike? Going to close the door behind us. I feel like I'm on the, on the lookout now, you know? Ah. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Just give me a second to get my bearings. Where's the other fishing rod? Did I did I walk past it? Oh, I see. And oh snap! I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We we'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Hell yeah! Well, first things first. We need to write bait for the carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp harp. <sighs> Please don't make rhymes with my name. I, You know what? Maybe I'm being a bit too hard on Mike. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me grab the bait. Right. So, maggot bait, cheese, wooden... Where's the carp? Frozen prawns? Oh, I don't... It doesn't say anything about carp. Am I reading this wrong? Ah, common carp. Cheese. Right, cheese the light. There you go. I need it. To, okay, um... Alright, yeah, I'm, I have to put the bait on. Alright, there we go. Oh god, there's a guitar. Mike, if you dare pick up that guitar, I swear to Christ, I will end you. I hope those carp are biting today. Do we sit down? There we go, we sit down. Alright, um... That was too far. There we go. Oh, he's already got one. Oh. Do we have to keep the slider in? I see. It's very, uh, very sensitive. Yep. 
Hey, we got a carp. We'll keep that. They say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. Pearls of wisdom. I wonder if you put other bait on, would you get other fish then? Or would you get something even worse? One carp down, two to go harp. Well, you caught one as well, didn't you? Hey. There we go. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Keep on forgetting to attach the bait, but. Yeah, I got this. I know what I'm doing. Easy, easy. Blue gill. I'll we'll throw that one back. Maybe I should just keep all the fish that I'm getting, but. We want the carp, we're getting the carp. And Mike isn't talking to us, so I'm calling this a win so far. Hey, there we go. All right, Harp, looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Yeah, let's do it. And the time that we were in there doing some fishing, someone's busted into the house, right? Well, let's put the... Uh, I need to uh, throw that down, right? Fishing rod, bait are back in where they need to be. Why is the music going sinister again? There was some nice plinky plonky music there. Well, I'm cleaning the fish. Do you mind prepping marinade? Yeah. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. I'm on it. Oh, God, really? Where's the bolt? Right, so, salt. Where's the salt? Well, if I was salt, I would be here. Yeah, that looks like salt to me. There we go. Right, black pepper. There we go. Paprika. Did we bring that, or is that... There we go. Italian seasoning. Um, hey, get that there. Um, ginger garlic paste. That must be this. Yes. Olive oil. Um, you got any olive oil anywhere, Mikey boy? Ah, there we go. And then the yogurt, which I think was in here already, wasn't it? No, that's frozen yogurt. We don't want that. Do we? Is that the only? I think that's the only yogurt we have, right? Hey! Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? I'm on it. Um, so what do I do with this then? Do I just throw this down? Maybe I should get this out of the way. What do you want me to do again? I forget what you asked me to do now. Oh, the marinade's ruined! It's ruined, Mike! Did you ask me to do too many things? Oh. Two carps. Marinate. Right, so we get the marinade. No, we need to add the fishes first. Yeah, that's right. Where are the fishes? What have we done with them? Ah. And we'll close that so it's nice and... Um, yeah, the marinade now. Got that in there. And what, what veggies? Now, could you add the veggie? I was just about to do that. I read it needs to go for 30 minutes to 400 degrees. Okay. Do we... I don't have any control over the heat, my friend. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room, next to the living room. Which one? 
Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay, let me see. Next to the living room. This one? No, that's a toilet. The room next to the living room. That's Well, that's here, right? Is that what we're saying? Ah, uh, does he mean here? This room. Have I explored here yet? Uh, I have not. Interesting. Ooh. I mean, we've got Jenga, we've got chess, we've got Whispers in the Dark, but we've got the Ouija board. we got to do Ouija board, right? Yeah, we're doing Ouija board. Damn right we are. Oh snap, is that an Ouija board? Yeah, it is. Molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we try this down here? That's a, that's the best idea I've ever heard. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh, Mike. Watch out for spiders down here. I know what he's trying to do. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to he's trying to freak me out, but you know what? I'm loving this idea. Yeah. Oh, wh wh where are you going with that, Mike? We're going to contact the dead, Mike! You know what will make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Sounds good to me. I can't turn off that lamp. I suppose we have to have a little bit of um, illumination to see what we're doing. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? Yes. You think this is my first radio? Alright then, you go first. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Oh, it's Mike's hand on, is it, really? Is Mike doing it? I think he is. Oh, I'm controlling it. Yes. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. What are you saying, Mike? How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. So when you put the cursor on the Ouija board, or on the um, actual counter, what's your name? Is he going to say anything? I think we have to try and move it to the right. My turn, okay. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. I'm not sure if we're meant to be trying to get this to a particular... Oh. Holy crap! What the hell, Mike? Wait for me! I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. We need a key for this door. It's obviously something behind the door, right? He's got the real owner down there. Hmm, that's what I'm thinking. Goddamn pansy. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. You mean weird how you left me? Yeah. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Hmm. Fish is done. Yeah, I'm generally liking the story so far. Um, I mean, they've purposely made Mike a bit of an asshole, a bit of a thirst trap um, for Harper. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch the TV while we eat? Yeah, sure. Oh, nice. Where's the plates? Where do you leave the plates? Hmm. 
Fishy fishy. While we watch X-Files. That would be the perfect getaway retreat. You know? Got some fish. Just caught some fish. Gonna sit down. Unfortunately, I have to do this with you, Mike. God damn. Okay. Oh, I have to turn the TV on, do I? Is that what we're doing here? Where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. A lot. It's good for the bones. After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the chocolate. And take a couple cocoa beans. Ah, uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry the mayonnaise. in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that was some like damn shit. fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. You know what? It was really good. We make a great team, Harp. Uh, you had to spoil it, didn't you, Mike? You had to spoil it. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Wow, well, okay. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll clean up here. Cleaning up after you, Mike. Like, or, why was that door open? I think I closed this, didn't I? Well, we'll close it now. Hmm. And nothing's going to appear at the window. Everything's going to be fine while we wash the dishes. I heard a noise, like a door opening or closing. Pulling into the parking gar- oh. I think there's someone under my bed. Why is he- Oh, right. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Mike. Was this his room? Walk slow. <laughs> you lucky I didn't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. No, you didn't. I knew... What are you, five years old? That was fun, wasn't it? Whatever. Come on. It was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Ah, oh, Mike. I'll get back to you for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. What, I have to hide? I decided to hide in the basement. Did I? Of course I did. I decided to hide in a nook under the stairs. now. 
Aaron. Maybe I was meant to burst out on him. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never found you in the city. Oh. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Nah. One. Two. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. We're not having enough time. Why not? Here I come. Can I get that door open if it kills me? Right. If I was Mike, where would I be hiding? He wouldn't be outside the house, right? He's going to be upstairs again or something, isn't he? checked in there. He wouldn't be outside. He wouldn't be in the shed. Would he be in the shed? He wouldn't be in the shed, right? He's got to be inside the house. Yeah, he's got to be inside the house. Unless this is the part where Mike goes missing. Oh dear. Alright, we're going to go upstairs. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling she's not going to be able to find him. I see ya. Got ya. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I didn't. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic access door in here. Ah. Can reach it without the step stool. Um, well, let's turn the light on. Where's the step stool? Ah. We are searching this cabin. No people lurking outside. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a kitty cat! Hey! Aww. Oh, come on, kitty cat. I thought I might find some other useful information here, but apparently not. Just a cat. You coming? Come on, then. Come on, then, little guy. You gonna follow me? You just staying up here. Come on, then. coming? Can I pick you up? That would scare the bejesus out of you though, you know. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Oh, looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. We gotta say it. <laughs> what do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp I came after I came find what? Maybe Oh yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Oh, we're not still playing this game, are we? Uh I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Of course I did. Because why wouldn't I? He couldn't see me from there. Damn harp, it took me a while to figure out where you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. Yeah, I'm getting tired, Mike. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me, and we'll, we'll go to bed. Not together, Mike. Alright, just to... Uh, here we go again.
He's going to be in the attic, isn't he? I mean, we will check downstairs just in case. Oh, I see some banging. Is that coming from the basement? Gonna be the attic, yeah. Just thought I heard the banging coming from downstairs. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, what's going on? What happened? Well, hey there, Rick. Why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet before with a hammer. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? <laughs> Yeah, do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's been polite. We rented this house and would like to have it all to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Oh. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. Think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to it. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty some shady shit going on here, Rick, though, to be honest with you. If that's even your name. Just gonna make sure he got- he's, I mean, he is armed now. He's got a hammer in his hands. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Bye, Rick. See ya. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behaviour to an extreme lack of social awareness. Hmm. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39pm Yeah, so the game crashed on me. Uh, so I had to restart. Uh, thankfully though, with these games, there are save points. I had to go through the, the hide and seek section again. Uh, and got to the bit where Rick, our uh, esteemed host, left. Oh. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking at the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Here we go. Come on then. Can I turn the light on? I can't. He's going to pour his feelings out to us, isn't he? Poor Mike. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Ah, uh, Mikey boy. Don't like where this is going. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch other people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. <sighs> it's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. I mean, he does own the place, but when you're renting it out... You can't be there. Yeah, I just wish you'd cut it out. I thought you may be scared in here by yourself. Hmm. I am a little freaked out. Mike? Oh, don't sit on the bed, Mike. Oh, no. Why don't you sit? Come sit by me, Sydney. 
I'd rather not, Mike. It's late. You know, I'd rather just go to bed. Look out the window, read a book, do anything else but sit. Ah, oh, God. Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us, just talking. Been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, Mike. Yeah, would you be doing this if Nora was here? Huh? Think about it. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Oh, no, Sid. You're breaking his heart, aren't you? They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Uh-oh. Oh, Mike, I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. I don't think this is a good time. Did you listen to Nora's message? I will now. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? God damn it, Nora. What a timing, huh? Well, I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and we'll meet you downstairs. Uh... No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Um, I mean, once again, we don't really have a choice of saying, actually, there is a possibility that you could be a psychopath. And if you go out and pick up Nora, there's a possibility that you might kill her. Also, there's a possibility that Rick's a psychopath. And I don't want to be left alone here while you go off and do that. And he comes and kills me. But okay, that's really nice. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Jesus, man. Please be careful. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Yeah, I really don't. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be guessing that Mike's not the, the problem here. I mean, he is a problem. He's thirsting hard for Sydney. And we've obviously done some stuff in the past. But you know what? We're not teenagers anymore. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven them worse. I mean, my driving scores were not the best when I took control, so... Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. Yeah, you're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, okay? Lock all the doors. Sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. You're so needy, Mike. All right, I'll give you a hug. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. I'm only giving you a hug because this might be the last time I see you, okay? Is he going to go? Can we actually watch him go? It was freezing outside. Can I turn on some lights in here? I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. I'd rather just... I think I'd go in the living room now. Turn on the TV. Can't switch on the lights. Yeah. Alright. Guess we're going back up to bed. Open the door. Can I lock the door? It does look like there is an option for it. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime.
12.39 a.m. Is that the doorbell? But why Mike wouldn't be ringing the doorbell? Someone was at the front door. Yeah. Probably Rick again, isn't it? Oh, can I look out the... Oh, I can't see from this angle. Oh, the realization that someone was outside this late at night was horrific. It's the guy from the pizza joint. Hello. I saw you there, my friend. Please open a door. I'm freezing to death out here. Um. Yeah, why not? Do you have any di- Yeah, that's- Look, friend. I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait and freeze to death. You're not coming in and so- Yeah, I mean, come on. He was talking about karma, though, in the pizza shop, wasn't he? Doesn't really give me the option otherwise. Um, so stay silent. The weather outside is getting pretty bad, and I, well, I was hoping you'd be a friend and let me come inside to warm up, just until my friends get here. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's the only choice I've got. Come on now, my friend. If you were caught out in this blizzard, I'd give you a warm place to wait it out. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make it. Yeah. I should have known you'd be as big as a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? Ah, uh, now, you, now you're just spying on us. I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Get out, or I'll just call the cops. Yeah, ain't no... Oh, of course. Rick told us. Is, is this guy going to be like Rick's son or something? Speaking of, I don't see your feathers truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. He's just standing there. Can I dial nine nine one? But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Calm as a bitch, my friend. Oh, he's going. He's going. I was... Hang on. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Really? I think that would wake you up. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. All I'm saying is, back at the pizza joint, I did say that we'd give him a lift. Now he's just been freaking naughty weird. Back to sleep. Like nothing ever happened. Ah... That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Oh dear. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Is something being slammed against the window? I don't think Rick's the best person to speak- Oh, God. I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There, someone we met driving down there. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? I don't think Rick would be my first port of call. He's already inside the house, isn't he? Just checking. Just checking. You never know. You never do know. Uh-oh. 
I mean, it didn't really work out well for us last time. Oh, it's Rick. Despite how strange Rick had been, seeing him then was a relief. Is it? Is it, though? Open the door, miss. It's me. What the hell's going on here? Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone. Or no one at all. Explaining the situation. Yeah. Came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Oh, he's killed him. It's Rick. It's Rick. He's killed him. Oh, why have you... Uh, uh, the hammer there, Rick. Oh, by the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. Mmm. So you're all alone right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Just gonna, uh... Yeah, you make yourself... This, I mean, this is your place. You make yourself at home. Get yourself warmed up. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. That's not creepy as shit, Rick. Um, I'm just going to back away while I read the message from you. To let me know this isn't you. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Knew it. Bye, Rick. Rick was in the house. Where am I meant to go? I'm going to the attic. Um... Oh, you mean I can't go out? Oh, come on. You stay there, Rick. I'm not sure where I'm meant to go here. He's right there. I'm gonna make a break for it. Yeah. Yep, everything's fine. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. Yeah, I'm not gonna antagonize it by saying you're not Rick. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. He needs to leave right now. What did you say? Oh no. You don't confront the serial killer. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house. And you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house... It will be one of us. Oh. What is he doing? Oh. Oh. Find me. Might find me. There. 
I'm good, I'm cold. What? What? What does that mean? Oh no! Oh no! I'm I'm heading to the attic. That's not the attic. Oh, I'm trapped. Okay. Bye bye. No! So it does appear that just by hiding in the attic for a while and just being patient, that pays dividends. I'm hoping. I did every conceivable thing. I went into every room. I tried the shower. Rick found me. I tried to vault over the balcony. Rick found me. I tried to subtly go downstairs while Rick's back was turned. He found me. I thought maybe we had to go back down to the basement, but his animation, he basically goes back down to the basement and stands at the door. So you can't win. He's barricaded the um, back outside area. So I thought the only place I can really go is the attic. He can't come up here. So we're just going to pet the cat. The real Rick Wilson has said he's called the police. And I'm guessing... We just stay here for a bit. 
I mean, I'm tempted to go down now. Maybe, maybe Crazy Rick has gone. Let's, let's try this out. Let's see. That does seem like we can't run. We're walking slowly, which are they trying to break down the door. He went out the back way. Oh, Mike, my knight in shining armor. We all survived. How glorious. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The real Rick. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used, and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Well, yeah, he likes to uh, hit people over the head with his hammer. Rick asked me what the man looked like, and after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund of $100. Good times. Well, there you go, guys. That was Fizz the Fathom Woodbury Getaway. A great getaway. We did some fishing. We played some hide and seek. We saw a cat in the attic. Um, I always love the Fears the Fathom games. I hope they keep them coming. As I said earlier, with each episode, they seem to progress more and more with story, with game mechanics. Uh, in this one, you know, there was a couple of hiding places that we could go to. We were down in the basement. Uh, I'm sure we could have played Jenga if we wanted to. I chose the Ouija board. Um, didn't seem like we had much in the way of contacting spirits in that respect. But I like with these games how they always give you red herrings. Like, you know, was Mike going to be the guy? We knew he was a bit of a thirst trap for Sydney. Um, the guy in the pizza shop. Was he a potential psychopath? It always keeps you on your toes, and I was actually quite surprised to see the guy from the pizza shop turn up again, and then just be at the door going, let me in. I mean, it was pretty bad what we did. We just le let him go back out into the snow, but um, phony Rick obviously killed him, and then threw his blood-spattered head against the window or something. Yeah, the last part was a little bit trial and error, I won't lie. Um, I did not enjoy that so much. Um, I obviously knew that the hide and seek mechanic was telling us areas that we could hide, i.e. down in the basement. Um, and there was another room there. So one of, my first, one of my first attempts was to go to the room to see if I could sneak up on old phony Rick. But apparently he was there waiting for me. There was a lot of just me running around the house trying to find other places that I could go to. The shower, for example. No, that wasn't working. Um, try and leap over the balcony. No, that wasn't working. Try and sneak up on him when he went downstairs. No, that didn't work. Um, I knew the only place that I could feasibly go was the attic, but you have to wait there for like minutes until you get another text message that the cops are coming and you can come back down. So there is an element of, you know, being patient. I get that. I understand that. And I'm sure there's probably a load of stuff that I didn't manage to see, like driving into Woodbury. It would have been cool to kind of get out of the car and explore the area a little bit. Maybe you can. Uh, maybe I just kind of like went right past that. But overall, um, I like the kind of creepy pasta nature of these type of games. You know, normal, ordinary folk just going about their own daily lives and then, you know, getting some kind of psychopath in their paths. I enjoy it. I really hope you did as well. Well, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video and you haven't already, please sub. Otherwise, I'll get my own Rick to turn up and fix your faucet. Until the next one, stay ghoulish. Bye.